Travels. Today we'll explore the Ben & Jerry's original ice cream factory in Stowe, Vermont. The iconic ice cream brand which gave us flavors such as Cherry Garcia, the Tonight Dough, the Cookie Dough, amongst many others. Stowe, Vermont is a ski town located two and a half to three hours northwest of the city of Boston. If you're in this area, this part of the country, it'll make for an amazing road trip with your kids and family members. This one is one of two factories of Ben & Jerry's. Of course, we toured the original flagship store, which has got a welcoming, homey atmosphere with amazing views of the Stowe Valley. You can buy the tour tickets right at the gift shop or you can buy them online. We recommend buying them ahead of time online. Your tour starts with a beautiful introductory video which talks about the creation and journey of Ben and Jerry. She's designed by a local Vermont artist, Woody Jackson, and she's been part of the Ben and Jerry's family for decades. Who better to take you on a time traveling trip through our history? So before we come back to the future, we're heading to the past. To show you how Ben and Jerry, two kids who met in Merrick, Long Island's seventh grade gym class, grew up to create the world's chunkiest ice cream. First up, the 70s. Where those grown-up kids were trying to figure out how to make a living from their love for food. They discussed going into the bagel biz, but they couldn't afford the equipment. So they split a $5 ice cream course for Penn State instead and got an A-minus on the open book exam. Not bad. They bought this old gas station and began creating their own flavors. But since poor Ben had no taste, we don't mean a sense of style, he really couldn't taste anything. They put in bigger and bigger chunks and swirls until he declared it ice cream perfection. They gave their creations fun names and began a long tradition of even more fun promotions. Still walkers, mimes, even free ice cream for dogs. Ben and Jerry had started an ice cream counterculture, a time not just of free love, but also free cone days. That special day in April started as a way to thank the community for helping them stay in business for an entire year. It was so fun, we've been doing it ever since. As the 70s came to a close and hippies were becoming yuppies, we realized that it was time to get down to business. To the 80s. The 80s. When Wall Street was all about making dough, we wanted to make dough too. Cookie dough. Thanks to an anonymous customer suggestion, cookie dough ice cream was born, putting Ben and Jerry's on the map and into grocery freezers. It became pretty clear that we needed to build a bigger factory. Thanks to a little known law, we were able to sell stuff exclusively to Vermonters. So we wanted 100 families here on a little piece of Ben and Jerry's. We also set aside 7.5% of our annual profits for the Ben and Jerry's Foundation, funding small nonprofits working on social and environmental justice. Global tensions were high in the 80s, and Ben and Jerry's was fighting its own very cold war, using ice cream to protest for more government spending on these. But the biggest surprise of the decade? The grooviest ice cream company in Vermont being named Small Business Persons of the Year by President Ronald Reagan himself. As the 80s ended, we realized that to capture our unique way of doing business, we needed to turn our values into a mission statement. One, make delicious ice cream. Two, grow the company responsibly and sustainably. And three, change the world with ice cream as innovatively as possible. Speaking of, do you know what you get when you stamp the 60s on its head? The 90s. In the 90s, people weren't just sitting around watching the real world on MTV. They were trying to figure out how to make the actual world better. For us, that meant looking at our ingredients and how they could affect people. From family farmers in Vermont to farmers all the way across the world. We even realized that brownies could make the world a little better if they're made in a bakery that creates jobs for those who struggle for employment. And just like in the past, we were still naming flavors after our favorite groovy bands. After launching our first flavor in the UK, we were excited to finally start bringing our chunks and swirls to fans worldwide. So forget Y2K. We couldn't wait to greet the new millennium. In the 2000s, people started connecting across the globe, and we were starting to connect them with their favorite flavors. 
It was at this time that Unilever, now a leader in corporate social responsibility, became interested in Ben & Jerry's. Despite the founder's best efforts to keep Ben & Jerry's independent, the company was acquired by Unilever with a unique agreement allowing us to maintain our own independent board of directors. We continue to make our ice cream available in new and exciting places and to make a truly big difference on the issues we care about most. We're talking big, like a 900-pound baked Alaskan to protest drilling in refuge wilderness, or an entire herd of Ben & Jerry's cows to raise awareness against animal cloning. Our caring dairy program helped farmers become more sustainable, and we campaign for marriage equality with Hobby Hobby. Not bad for a company that started at a gas station. Oh, look at that. We're almost to the present. Time flies when you're having fun. In this age of social media, Ben & Jerry's didn't just want virtual friends. We got out and met them. We went on tour to save the Great Barrier Reef and watched a protest climate change as fans let us know that they wanted to save our world. We hung out with Late Night Smackers on The Tonight Show. We told people to try The Tonight Show from a state-of-the-art robot oh. ice cream feeding machine. Robot with a spoon, yeah. Can ice cream really change the world? We sure hope so. So far, it's helped us not only take better care of our planet, but also bring together people all over the world. Now, if you'll excuse our spokesman, she's got something she needs to do. Because where we're going, we don't need roads, just ice cream.